you're navigating a world that either overtly or covertly is saying who you are is not okay, or there's not space for you to exist based on your authentic self, that's a really hard place to be. The head of Outright Vermont, Dana Kaplan, knows the issue like the back of his hand. New numbers show that Vermont youth that identify as LGBTQ have a much harder time and are um, much more isolated and much more lonely and falling through the cracks. Results from Vermont's 2017 Youth Risk Behavior Survey were released last week. It asks middle and high school students about things like drug use, sexual activity, and mental health. In that report, LGBTQ students are more than four times as likely as heterosexual or cisgendered students to make suicide plans or attempt suicide. Vermont's Health Commissioner Dr. Mark Levine would agree with Kaplan. That just taking an interest is half the battle. He says kids feeling alone or isolated is part of the issue. Four out of ten of our youth do not feel connected. Uh, don't feel valued in the way that we would want them to be. Building a sense of belonging to community can go a long way with a focus on what kids are doing at the end of the school day. Where they can play a contributing role as well as learn and become more skilled at a uh, new aspect of life. It is imperative that we work to create spaces where youth feel that they belong. In Burlington, Tom Garris, NBC5 News. <laughs>